Humans are often unsure of themselves, of their ability to tell right from wrong, good from evil, and beauty from ugliness. So we look to others for guidance, philosophers, prophets, sages, people who it pleases us to believe know things we don't. These are the wise men, and in modern times they often seem to be writers and especially novelists. Just look at this early color photograph of Lev Tolstoy taken by Sergei Prahudin Gorsky on May 23, 1908 at Tolstoy's country estate, Yasnaya Polyana. Tolstoy was then world famous, not only for his writings, but also for his religious and political thought. Here, however, he's just an old man. His great works, War and Peace, Anna Karenina, The Death of Ivan Ilyich, are all far behind him. He's almost 80 years old and in ill health. In two years he will be dead. All he has left, and all he presents in this photograph, is the image of wisdom. Not wisdom itself, he will write nothing substantial for the rest of his life, but the picture of wisdom. Tolstoy knows just what this looks like. Wise men are old and often feeble. Just so, in this image, Tolstoy shows all his years and appears somewhat frail. He's not playing with children, dancing with young girls, or riding a horse. The walking stick suggests these things are beyond him. He could be working in his study at his desk, but that's not the image he wants to project. He's just there, as if being itself was all he could muster and all that was required of him. Wise men spend a lot of time in nature and enjoy pastoral pleasures. Just so, Tolstoy presents himself in the open air surrounded by trees. Note that he's seated in a rough-hewn chair made of branches, as befits someone at one with nature. Wise men care little about worldly things. Just so, Tolstoy is simply dressed, much like the peasants he said he so much admired. A plain shirt, work pants, felt boots. No black frock, waistcoat, or white collar for him. He's left those vanities far, far behind. Here he seems to be saying, I'd be mowing hay if I could. And of course, wise men have flowing beards, preferably white ones. Tolstoy's whiskers are a little anemic in this regard, but they nevertheless achieve the desired effect. In sum, the visual ensemble presents an image of a latter-day prophet, a Moses for the modern age, a wise man in the woods, a novelist.